Hello friends, this is for uh, when I'm getting 63 and 7 twelfths of a year. 83. What? 83, 83. not 63. <laughs> okay, 83. Well, it's good we have Peter here. He finds out many things. And not only that, less and less time is now being here before I'm a hundred years old. And at the moment, it's like 6,018 days. I think that can be a good thing to have in memory because it might be a big ice cream party then. And, uh, well, of course, everyone who comes have to bring their own ice cream, <laughs> making sure that it doesn't melt on the way. And now I've been sailing for more than 60 years. And the boats has mostly been modest size. At the same time, during the 60 years, both been big, growing bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Now it's 40 feet, 50 feet long. And at the same time, we have problem with uh, non-renewable resources and people have problem with their money. But you know, a small boat makes you so happy. And here's some of the small boats I have had. Like this is 60 years ago and it's me. And this is a boat I sailed to Newfoundland with. And this is a boat I sailed to Caribbean with. And this is Anna I sailed to England from Sweden with. And here, this is 2018 and this is 2020 and 21. And it was like 150 days at sea in this little boat. And some kind of rather surprise. Here's some pictures on, on my boat. This is the boat from 1962. This is 1968 with two girls on. And this is the Amphibie Breeze with a girl in France. And bring it back to Sweden. We sailed to Newfoundland. And then the authorities took it, seized it. But this looked like a big ship, you know, so they didn't watch it. I put it in a U haul truck and drew down to the United States, the land of freedom. And then I sent it back to Sweden in a container. And then come back to Sweden, I just borrowed my mother's car. But she didn't have a hook on it. But with a rope, I tied it up and I drew it back. So with a small boat, many things are possible. And this other boat, this boat, 2011, I sailed from Ireland to Madeira to Martinique. And then in Martinique, I didn't like to hang around in the Caribbean. So I put it in a container. And here is the boat in a container. And this is this nice people helping me. And so is so many possibilities. And it was another one boat I'd lived in a long time. Here is a winter in Martha's Vineyard and have this yellow thing. This is uh, 110, I call it. And I had a toaster I bought in a thrift shop for one dollar. And I borrowed this car and could go to the AMP, Atlantic and Pacific. Uh, and buy food, you know, and things like this. So, why should we have like bigger boats, you know? It's more expensive, it's more problems, it's not good for Mother Earth and it gives a problem all the time. And a small boat is more seaworthy and it's less, you can get into more shallow places. You can have it behind a car on a trailer and you can put it in a container and you can build it in a garage and things like this. So this is the case for the small boats and thank you for this.